we're going to do a three-part karma clearing exercise. Karma clearing exercise. Karma. Obviously, if you do a lot of yoga, or you're used to this world, then you may know what karma is. But karma, if you don't know, K-A-R-M-A. -A. Karma is what you came with, what you keep repeating, what you are battling with in this world, in this lifetime. The Eastern philosophies believe that you have hundreds of thousands of lives in which to clear this stuff. But, and so there's lots of different meditations. In our Christian world, if you grew up in the West, we only believe that we have one life, unless you take on an Eastern mystical thought process. They took reincarnation out of the Bible in the Ecumenical Council of AD 527. So we don't have reincarnation. We have to work much harder. We have this one life. But um, if you want to clear your karma, energetically it's said that we have an arc line that goes from one ear to the other, a halo of light. If you think about Renaissance paintings, you know, it's believed that they could see these halos, that this, was, this existed in the pre, pre the age, the energetic age that we're in now. We had these halos of light. So, halos of light. And women have one between their nipples so that you can pass your karma to your child. It's believed that 70% of your karma comes from your mother. It can be good, it can be bad. What we're working with right now is supposedly the, in inverted commas, bad karma. We're clearing the energetic field. So, what I want you to do is follow me. I'm not going to do the posture because it's noisy. I'm going to show you the posture. But if you have to listen to me doing this, you're going to do three postures. The first one looks like this. So, you're firing your hands up. So join me. Imagine that your hands are knives or swords and that as you fire your hands up, you bang down on your ribs. So you're clearing the lymph, you're detoxifying, but you're also clearing the energetic, karmic body. So keep going with this strong firing up and banging down. Keep going. We're going to do three minutes, so eyes closed, tongue pulled back, good piece of music. As you know, I have a very good playlist for this series. And there's some very nice energetic music for you to work with that will help you keep your focus. Keep your focus, time flies. You've already done a minute. So it's a strong breath of fire. Try and get your elbows to lock. So they're really flying up, clearing, as if you can slice through the story. So you're consciously taking on your karma, which is actually quite a wonderful thing to do to consciously choose to change the stories that you keep repeating. One way of thinking about karma is um, particularly negative karma. It's the things that you find are repeating patterns. You're always finding yourself short of money, always finding yourself with unfinished projects, always drawn to people who are bad-tempered. That's karmic. You've got just over a minute going, just over a minute remaining, so keep it strong, keep your breath, strong. I know it's an effort. It's meant to be an effort. Clearing karma, to take that on, is a very interesting decision, but it's hard work. You have one minute, just less than a minute remaining. Keep it strong. Very, very strong, powerful, powerful, shooting your arms up. Make sure you're banging against your sides, rhythmically. I find it's easy to rock from side to side. I quite like that because it also stimulates the adrenals, works the pelvic floor, works the core of the body. Last 30 seconds, time flies. Keep your eyes closed. I promise not to leave the room. Powerful breath, 15 seconds. 15 seconds, you can do 15 seconds, I know you can. Last five seconds, really go for it. And inhale, eyes closed. Relax your arms down into your lap, be still. Lovely endorphins now, be soft, be still, be soft.
inhale. Roll your shoulders, stretch your neck. Your arms now come straight, straight, and you're going to crisscross. Powerful breath. And that movement backwards and forwards, very much working the spinal dorsal muscles, helping you take responsibility for yourself, working the lymph, very, very much working how you express yourself, detoxifying the throat, the underarms, the chest, clearing stress hormones from the body. Powerful breath, keep going, because if I keep going, I'll be fantastically breathless and panting. Powerful breath. Keep it going, keep it going really strongly, eyes closed. Imagine that what you're doing is you are polishing the electromagnetic field, you're shining your arc line, you're absolutely creating this brilliant radiance around your head, you're diminishing and polishing the karmic load. Keep it strong, keep the breath strong. Powerful, powerful breath. Rocking backwards and forwards, your shoulders working like crazy. Think of your endorphins. Again, always with Kundalini, there's always a gift after the posture. The harder you work now, the better the gift. just less than a minute remaining. Keep strong, keep powerful, keep potent, really working the breath to clear the energy field in the body. Powerful breath. Imagine you could say to the universe, over here, I'm over here, come over here, bring me, bring me Potency, bring me quantum physics. The quantum physics of the universe are amazing. If you believe that your life is crap and that everything is hard, the universe goes, yeah, no problem, we can do that. If you believe that everything is possible, the universe is on your side and you are grateful, then everything changes to the better. Take a long, deep inhale, hold the breath. Pull the body lock, so tighten the interior muscles of the body. Relax your arms, eyes closed, be soft, well done. Be soft, you have one more part to this meditation and it is delightful. Be soft, be soft. So now we move into washing, imagine. Imagine that your room that you're in is filled with the most beautiful crystal clear water up to your waist and you're going to pick up this water and you're going to scoop it and take it over and through your arc line. You have to go past your ears. So now, where you might have been rocking before, now you're very clearly rocking backwards and forwards, creating an extraordinary soothing motion. And the mantra, I'm hoping I remember to put this song on the playlist. Wahe Guru Wahe if you want to wash your face, wash your hair, take the water and clear away stories that you don't want to hold on to anymore. Clear away things that came from your past that you don't need anymore. Wash yourself clean, ritually clearing away the stories with this incredibly cool, beautiful water. And the mantra, wa he guru. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Jiyo. Everything is perfectly synchronized. Everything feels safe. 
and comforting. Ritual is a wonderful thing, and the ritual of cleaning of the self, the ritual of cleaning away of shame, the ritual of clearing of stories and shining your art flame for whatever you believe is the divine, is a very extraordinary practice. And gradually, Notice, you can feel this extraordinary radiance around your head and your ears. Notice you are bright and shiny. And when you're ready, lie back. Lie back and be soft. Very, very soft. And well done. To take yourself on, to take on your karmic load, is an amazing act of courage. And I salute you. I really do. Well done.